the formidable robot. Hey there folks, it's me, Tobico Studios, owner of the Formidable Robot Channel. Today for this creepy pasta fails video, I have found another shit pasta submitted to the Lost Episode Creepy Pasta Wiki, formerly known as Geo She is Lost Episode Wiki. And oh god, there's no way we are going back to the Geo Shia era because of this story. This story, however, was called Cartoon Network Amazon Incident 2003. This, this is just as worse as the other shit pastas from the Spin Pasta Wiki. Anyway, is Amazon even a word for this story? Well, I now heard of Berkut Amazon, which is Hebrew for grace after meals or the blessing of the food, and it's about bread and other sorts of food from the five grains. I don't know, and I'm not trying to be discriminate or anything, it's like a Jewish Thanksgiving. But I won't go into detail about that, let's get on with this story. Before I begin, this is only made for constructive criticism and was not meant for bullying or hate. I'll read out the author's note first. This is not meant to be a copycat of any stories by Random GD Player, nor the Nickelodeon Resignation Incident. I was inspired and I do not claim ownership of any of the mentioned stories in any way. Okay, I can see that. But this story has many many problems. There seemed to be a heavy usage of commas in any paragraph, and a period at the end. Not to mention the randomized capitalization, which is that same problem from that shitty bluey creepy pasta I have made a video about. Without further ado, let's start the actual story. On November 4, 2003, a hijacking occurred on Cartoon Network. Before the hijacking, Cartoon Network was airing an episode of The Moxie Show, which was the first episode. Wait, isn't the Moxie show lost media? Well, I haven't watched any Cartoon Network show until 2013 when I was 10, and that's when I got into shows like Regular Show, Adventure Time, and The Amazing World of Gumball. Anyway, there was supposed to be an N in place of the A before the word episode, which had a vowel sound at the beginning. Yet, this is even worse than not capitalizing the I. This was during Cartoon Network's classic cartoons block, Oh my fucking god. There's supposed to be a K at the end of the word block. I don't know, maybe it was a spelling error, or it was just spelled like that on purpose. Just as Moxie was finishing his sentence, the screen cut to black. Then text appeared on the screen saying, This is the time of a nightmare forming. Say goodbye to your parents and loved ones. Then, the screen cut to a picture, where Spongebob is dead, with his blood splattered on the wall. Really? Spongebob on Cartoon Network? In a television hijacking like this, on a fucking channel where it airs shows like the Powerpuff Girls and it it in any of all shit? Spongebob was a Nickelodeon and Paramount show, and it was never owned by Cartoon Network and Turner Broadcasting goddammit. Anyway, that doesn't make it seem scary, it was just lazy. A creepy distorted face, which people believe that the face belongs to Jeff the Killer, is hung up on the wall. What a good way to reference an extremely popular creepy pasta that is not good to begin with. Also, in this screenshot I forgot to mention, that face looks nothing like Jeff the Killer. Granted, it had the creepy mouth you'd see from Smile Dog or even a creepier version of the Jeff the Killer picture. Hell, this mouth was overused in any scary picture online whatsoever. The eyes of the face were cut out and placed onto a light brown table. Fuck, you misspelled the table. In this image, the table seemed like an orange color rather than light brown. Also, judging by the way it's drawn, why does this table with eyes reminded me of one of the Russian alphabets from alphabet lore? Still, it's a trend that many many bad creepypastas had to roast due to how popular it was. A image of weird strict dad is also seen running towards the camera. Again, an A before a word that begins with a vowel. Also, what the fuck? Weird Strict Dad, a Roblox horror game so popular, in a fucking creepypasta? This may sound repetitive, but how was this still a good idea to add video game and media trends in a fucking creepypasta, or even a lost episode or hijacking incident pasta, in the cringiest yet confusing way possible? But continuing. Though Weird Strict Dad was not on Roblox yet, this is believed to be the first instance of the character. 
and Roblox has not been developed yet until 2006. Furthermore, Roblox was still in its beta works in 2003, but it was called Dynablox back then until 2004. Still, this story doesn't make any remote sense. Though the image that was displayed was not too terrifying but mainly gruesome. A 30 second long man's screen played after 9 seconds the image appeared on all TV screens. The screen then cut to static, and there was not return of the showing of the Moxie show since then, period. Ten days after the hijacking, Cartoon Network was back, all normal. A screen on the channel said. Sorry about the hijacking ten days ago. The FCC, Federal Communications Commission, is investigating the hijack, and we will make sure no hijackings on this channel will never ever happen again. The perpetrator remains unknown, but many think that this hijacking was by a former Cartoon Network employee, that was fired in 1994 for trying to air a cartoon that he made himself that had a lot of swear words, and lots of graphic and gruesome content. Oh god. Oh fucking god. And yeah, that was the Cartoon Network Amazon Incident 2003, a hijacking creepypasta. My final thoughts. This story, is just a fucking problematic mess. The grammar was rancid, and there seemed to be cliches out the fucking ass. It mentioned Spongebob being on a Cartoon Network hijacking, despite that Spongebob was a Nickelodeon show. And not to mention adding references to other creepypastas and trendy games, in a creepypasta like this, about a fucking television hijacking incident. Still, it lacks any sense of being an original story. Anyway, I find the ending to the story to be completely passable. And I don't even know what was that cartoon this former CNN employee made back in 1994. Moving on, let's get into the other notes. For safety and privacy reasons, I won't mention the author's name in this video, because I don't want people to start attacking this person, just for a badly written story. This creepypasta is not meant to be spam, and especially not meant to be a troll pasta. I was inspired by random GD player to do these kinds of creepypastas, and I am, kind of, original. Well, I severely doubt that, but it still had the aforementioned problems. By the way, let's address the elephant in the room, or most importantly, the screenshot on the page. This was most likely made in Microsoft Paint or something, despite that MS Paint was blacklisted on this wiki. It was in a plain yet eye-burning red background, with the dead Spongebob with blood, the hanging so-called Jeff the Killer face that looks nothing like Jeff the Killer, the light brown but orange table with the face's eyes, and strikingly enough, weird strict bad from Roblox. A beautiful masterpiece that no creepypasta fan had ever seen. Yeah, that was the image. Oh, and last but not least. I found out after refreshing the page, the story is pending deletion. I have saved two screenshots of this page existing, including the pending deletion one. I might have to read this out. This page may be subject to deletion by an administrator for the following reason, spam, terms of use violations, spin-offs slash blacklisted stories, unfinished pages, and troll pasta. Of course, I'm glad it's getting deleted due to how bad this so-called original creepypasta was. And to be fair, I will not rate this story a low or negative number, even if it's candidate for deletion. To end this off, this is my opinion. That's fine if you disagreed with it, because we are all entitled to our own opinions. This is Topical Studios and I'm out.